I wanted to ask you this a long time ago. Uh, what are some of your in-game, only in-game, what are some of your favorite in-game moments going back to Dolphins days? Like way back when you were just a kid, we, you know, we didn't have nothing to worry about. No, no, no. We didn't have to worry about having the right grades really at all. Like something like having in-game, some of your favorite stories back then. Oh. <laughs> Anything that comes to mind. <laughs> I can I can go off one. I can actually name the first one that involved you. One of my first. Oh, I already know my, what you're about to say. Yeah, you know exactly <laughs> what I'm going to say. This is one of my first touchdown in football, period, was thanks to this man right here. It was um sixth grade. And we were playing Chittenden East, of course, at Chittenden East. And um, someone got like a sack. I don't know if you got the sack. And I'm playing DN, right? So someone got a sack, but it's a fumble sack. So the ball is on the ground. I'm coming around the corner, and all of a sudden, I see like Michael on the ground. You're like kicking the ball. You like kick the ball, and I'm coming and I pick that thing up and I score a whole touchdown. But I wouldn't have scored it if you didn't kick, kick it backwards because there's a guy right behind me. Um, that's probably one of my favorite stories, like playing Dolphins ever. It was was that you gave me my first touchdown? <laughs> oh, I just thought of one. So actually, I remember this one. It was uh, you can go check the film too on this to, to make sure I'm this telling is exactly why I'm asking <laughs> <laughs> so you go check the film I'll tell you sixth grade Colchester the score is six six they're returning a punt and all I remember is that uh, I was hanging back and you know the kid was way faster than me and he juked me <laughs> I mean I was, I was I was left in my tracks like he juked me but I stuck my arm out and I stripped the ball. <laughs> oh, I stripped the ball and we recovered it and they didn't score. And it was a tie game at the end. Oh, my God. I don't remember that. Probably some other my, from my favorite moments are probably from the eighth grade season. I mean, uh, there was a lot of fun plays from there, you know, and stuff. I can't really remember them off the top of my head, but just just that team. That was probably the, the most fun I ever had in a football season was that year. I mean, yeah. We we won games by a lot of points and we lost games by a lot of points, but you know we had fun. Oh man, that year it's something that just never leaves you. It it, it never does. That, that's definitely my favorite season ever playing football ever in li- maybe even in life. Just like that year, and what we did in the playoffs was just so like where we started and where we ended. It was just like it was like. You couldn't believe what was happening. It was very inspirational and like it will always stick with me. Yeah. Why do you think that that year kind of like stood out above all for you? You know, I really felt like at least, you know, for the people that were on our team, it was really a year that, you know, we really took a step as as athletes. And I think all of us can say we really matured from the end of our seventh grade year to the end of our football season in eighth grade. You know, like we really, I feel like matured as, as, you know, teenagers, I'd say, or pre-teenagers. Right. You know, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we, we went there on our own, you know, during the summer, no one had to tell us to do it. You know, we, we really bought in and for a lot of, you know, people that age, it's, it's hard to see the bigger picture. And I think everyone on our team saw what we were working towards, what, what our end goal was. And that stuff, you might not even see it at the at the college or high school level teams with that kind of mindset. Absolutely. Absolutely. And from day one, our goal was to win the state title. And Mm -hmm. we were we we were this close. We were this close. I mean, to just going on to the final game. But I knew after that semifinal game, uh, man, it just burns. But I mean, I remember in the offseason when we were going to people's houses, all four of us. We, I don't know if you remember this. We didn't have enough bikes, but we would run and bike all the way down the <laughs> street over here <laughs> to go get some kids to come play. I'm not going to name, but, you know, we we went all the way down there and doing a whole bunch of stuff trying to get kids. Um, and, and like, we were dedicated. It, it was we one sold thing. raffle oh, tickets. Oh, yeah. We sold <laughs> hundreds of raffle tickets at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> With the cart <laughs> through the parking lot. <laughs> We did everything, and I we got our jerseys. I don't know. You got yours? I got my jersey. Yeah, I got the, the football, the jersey. But can we can we go back some more uh, best moments? Go ahead. Go ahead. You thought of one? Yeah, I have some from high school. So for high school, I'm trying to oh. think of one. 
uh, from each year. Uh, my freshman year probably would be like uh, my first tackle I made on varsity. <laughs> I remember it was like uh, it was against Colchester, and it was just a, a straight ice up the middle. I was right there, and I just I just dove at him, and I made, made the tackle. And I remember I was cheering. I was like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "This is crazy! <laughs> like, this is this is in Dolphins." <laughs> Wait, wait, freshman year varsity, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And sophomore year, probably uh, you know, it wasn't a great season, but you know, my favorite moment was probably beating Essex in our first game. Cause at that point, we were now on a two game win streak. And I really thought, like, you know, oh, we're changing this program. You know, I really I was really happy with all the work we put in. I, I really was proud. Yeah. Uh then probably from our junior year. Hey, I think everyone can say this: beating Rutland last week of the season, ah! going to the playoffs, <laughs> the, the one-yard goal line stand. I mean, that was the craziest game I ever played in. To this and, day, and we would have, and we would have like had a tie if we didn't score right there, or we would have lost. We would have lost if we didn't well, score right there, or something. Yeah, we would have lost. Well, so it was, it was, we were up 30, 34, 28, but if they would have scored, they would have a chance at the PAT to win. Well, right, and but they missed the PAT though. Or we missed the PAT. Oh, that's why. Like was... we scored, we scored on our first play, and we missed the PAT. And gotcha. oh, you know, all that's... they had to do was score and hit the PAT to win, but we stopped them from scoring. Right on the on last fourth down, down. On, on the like one two yard, yard line. line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that was that was probably the craziest game uh, I ever played in. I mean, that was that insane. was to make the playoffs. They're the number one team in the state at the time. I mean, that was just insane. And what happened that game? I mean, yeah, it was just crazy. Everything, and then we had to play them again next week, and we lost. But anyways, <laughs> then probably from anyways, our, from, it was uh, from our senior year, uh, I probably had two favorite moments from that season. The first one was in our scrimmages against BFA St. Albans and Essex. Oh, that was probably man. the 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 time I felt like as a group we were the most dominant ever. <laughs> I mean, I felt like that day in those scrimmages, you could put us against any team in the world, and we would have we would have played with them. I mean, I don't think we let up we one touchdown. High. You know, I don't think we let up more than two yards on any play of like defense. We were scoring. True? I mean, we we were dominant. I don't know what happened after that, but <laughs> yo, yeah, I was gonna say senior <laughs> year, our team pretty bad that day. It was our, our our year was actually we thought we were gonna be really good, and then. We had the talent too, though. Like we did, we kind of had something going. Then my my second favorite moment from uh, that year was uh, two games when we beat North Country, and you know we thought it was our last game we were ever going to play. So you know we were going right. like we were going crazy, <laughs> like, we were going absolutely insane because we we because we, we thought we were going to have a game afterwards because uh, one of the teams, two of the teams forfeited. We didn't know we were going to play. Right. And so we thought it was our last game, and then come yep. to find out, we had to play CVU. Well, we played CVU next week, and I mean, we yeah. really beat them up good. And then and, um, seven. and Ronnie was right there. I remember Ronnie. He was going. He was um so happy. I think he had like 155 yards and two touchdowns. Three, three touchdowns. <laughs> three touchdowns. <laughs> Ronnie, shout out Ronnie. We need Ronnie <laughs> on the pod. <laughs> This man Roddy is just oh my god! I remember all year he was saying he wanted to be the running back, running back, running back, and he was hurt, and and he still went out there, and he was. I remember the play. I don't know what it was. I think it was sweep to the right or something. And you were just somehow I don't know. You were all the way at the safety level, and he was right behind <laughs> you still. You're you're playing center, and somehow you're lead blocking. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but. Uh, <laughs> Like, how did what I don't get that thinking about that, but um, yeah, senior year was crazy. I mean, I remember that North Country game, that was one of my favorite games, too. Yeah, that and uh, then probably if I go, you know, my three years of college, probably my favorite play for my freshman year of college was mm -hmm. just like, you know, my first snap, you know, that I did that I played, and I was so nervous. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> then probably for my second year, you know, the first full season. Uh, when I had a tackle, I had, I think, three tackles uh, my, that year. But it was our last game, and I had a really nice solo tackle against uh, the first-team all-conference returner on punt. Wow. Oh, what team? And then uh, North Carolina Central. And then this past year, probably my favorite moment was uh, 
our first game back from being out for like five five weeks, uh, we were playing South Carolina State uh, down in South Carolina, and they beat us three times in two years, and we really wanted this one. And it was my first game back. We went to overtime, and I snapped the game winning field goal to win the game. I mean, that was probably that was crazy. I mean, we wanted to beat them so bad. We lost them three times in a row. We finally did it. I mean, that game was crazy. And while that game was going on, quick story time. I'm sitting over here at the office, right, <laughs> with Coach Renee and Linda, his wife, and we're watching the game, right? Literally every two minutes or so, we're watching your game. Every two minutes or so, the screen would just cut out. The game would stop. We would have to plug in everything again <laughs> and let it go. Another two minutes going by. And then all of a sudden, during the fourth quarter, it was good. It was good. It was perfectly clear. And I'm like, yo, yo, they're getting lined up to kick this field goal for the win <laughs> or something like that at the end of the fourth quarter. And then all of a sudden, cuts out <laughs> right before the kick. You lined up in everything. We couldn't even see the damn kick. And, and um, then I'm like, a couple minutes later, I check on my phone. I see that it goes to overtime. And we're still trying to get it up, but it wasn't working. And then we finally get it up. And it's like the post-game like people talking like after the game was over we had no idea who won 